Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the keyboard manager in Microsoft Power Toys is a feature that lets you reconfigure your keyboard by remapping keys and remapping shortcuts. Now, in regards to the keyboard manager, I posted a video just over a year ago, actually, that the keyboard manager in Power Toys was going to be getting new features and a visual redesign. And Microsoft still hasn't rolled out the new keyboard manager. Now, a couple of days ago, in regards to this, Microsoft has updated um, its post on X regarding this feature. If we just head over to a GIF that was provided from that post, this is the new revamped key manager with a couple of new features and a upgrade to its user interface. So while that runs, basically the gist of this is that Microsoft wants to bring Power Toys features uh, to look and feel more like the native OS. So they want it to look more like Windows 11's fluent design, which we can see quite an upgrade visually from the existing um, Power Toys in the stable version, which looks quite legacy in its design. And as mentioned now, once again, a couple of days ago, Microsoft has updated their post on X regarding this. And it seems now that they are wanting feedback now to improve and make a couple of changes. And this has been quite a drawn out process, but the fact that on the 7th of March, um, Microsoft posted saying we're looking into revamping the keyboard manager UX in Power Toys. Take a look at this issue and let us know what you think. So they're asking for feedback once again. So this could be an indication once and for all now finally that this keyboard manager, this revamp keyboard manager with the new user interface and a couple of extra features is going to be making its way into the stable version of Power Toys. And as mentioned, if you want more info, go check that video out um, that I posted almost a year ago. It'll give you some more information. And in regards to Power Toys as well, Power Toys version 89 rolled out a couple of days ago, which is the latest release. And I will um, leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. But I think a keyboard manager upgrade will be a nice move because as you can see, this one looking a little bit legacy and when it comes to its user interface and features. So I think that would be, if you are using this feature, I think that would be a nice upgrade. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.